Hey guys, how's it going, man? Today we're doing a E53 build over here, Team Brando Garage. We just wanna, you know, do a little quick tutorial, let y'all know how we do things over here, man. Come on in here. We start a new vlog. We've been working on this thing for a long time. The best way, the only way we know how, the right way. We need to show you how we do it down here in the south. Uh, we got our good buddy over here with us today. That's Thomas, Thomas Rebel. Hey boy, Thomas Rebel, wake your ass up. Hey, wake your ass up, boy. Drinking, drinking that damn apple all day. Real quick, today's video is going to be consistent of a E50. That's a E50 pooch. Oh, yeah. Pooch E50, bottom end rebuild. You were Top to bottom. Maximum horsepower. If you guys want to check out our other videos, uh, we got a video up here. Yeah, you click on the button, there. and you got a video over here. And you click on this button anytime you like. Don't forget, don't smash that like button and subscribe. What the fuck, man? We do what we can. All right. All right. Uh, first things first, I'm going to zoom in here. This is E50. Pooch. This thing is well glued together. If you can see, they got a lot of sealant on here from That's, the start. I, I think it's not a lot. It's just a really just, good seal. It's sealant. a good amount. It's a good seal. The boys did a good job building it last time. We're going to throw in a new crank. Uh, sh show them the crank, Thomas. Oh, uh, fuck. We're never going to find those parts. Find them parts, boy. I'm on it. Burns down. Sometimes you happen to drop parts when you're in the garage, but we pick them up and we get right, we get right back where we started. Get that thing a good spin. Show, hey. show them what it's like. You see that? You hear it? Listen. That's what we like. We want someone who's got a good wear on it. Remember, the bands are loosey goosey. That's not what you want for a moped. This here particular motor we put together with that uh, floor glue. I believe it's called uh, what's that stuff? Using construction ad adhesive. No, we didn't. We're gonna use this because this is the better stuff. It's got a little more expansion. That's what we're going with this time. I'm gonna give it the little tap tap. Let it bring in so you can focus. But see what we're working one, with. This one's done with construction adhesive because we wanted to have a super strong speed seal when we were racing. But today we're not doing a race rebuild, we're just doing for a customer, so we want to make sure it's good with this expandable foam rebuild. Gonna be fast, gonna be good, gonna be reliable. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So why don't you guys stick around? First we take these old cases, and we'll take a little heat, and we'll take a little carb spray. We're just gonna loop them up real good so we can get them open. So we spray it down. Oh, Real good. Now this is an old school trucking trick that you may side. not have ever heard of. It's called... Get it inside of there. We ought to take it outdoors first. And then you take a little flame. Ah! Ah! Fuck! And you spice it up. Get the plastic out the way. You step on that. <laughs> step out the little extra flame. You know, we got that. Then you step on a little bit. Clear it out. Clear it out, you know, I, not too much. Got my, a little extra. My daddy used to tell me to do tires that way. Woo! Let me open it up. It worked. Look at that shit. It split the damn cases. That's how you split cases around here, boy. And remember, safety first, fire extinguisher. Okay, same thing really bad happens in the shop. Oh, it is on green. Green is good. Yep, we always, we always prepared around here. And then, bam, check that out. A little bit of heat does just what you need. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. It came right apart. Oh, delicious. Right apart. Oh, you got, oh you got a little, little flare up. Kick that out right there. Ain't no big deal. Bam. Now you see this little leftover. That's still hot. Careful when you touch it. <laughs> now you see here we got this little leftover residue on top. I read on, read on them forms on Moped Army. Reddit, a couple of them other threads. Did they talk about cleaning these real good? They say you want to clean all this off. That's not how we do things around here, boy. That's bullshit. Don't listen to them when they talk about cleaning off all the stuff. This little extra bit of residue on these cases, as you can see, a little thick, a little chalky. You can even peel at it. It's got a little stretch to it. That stuff helps it stick for the next round. And I would say the faster you glue it, you can actually take advantage of the heat from the disassembly mm -hmm. process to help speed the gluing time up. It's a two part session. We still need to put the bearings on this new crank. So what we wanna do is we wanna apply it to the cases first so it has some setup time. You guys ready? Let's set up. Come in here. 
And I see all these forms talking about putting it on real thin. That's not what you want. And you want to get it down these bearing wells too. Because, you know, that's where the bearings sit. You want to make sure them get a good seal. They talk about putting it on thin and rubbing it with your finger. But that, that's what you put it around, man. My daddy always told me, the more, the better. And it's like putting a toothpaste on your, on your thing in the morning. You do a little dab, you don't get a good brush. Oh, you put toothpaste on your thing in the morning too? Yeah, you put it on a bunch, you get a real good clean on them teeth, man. Look at this, look at this, coming on in here. I don't think that's enough. Now down here in this barren well, see in barren well down here? Don't miss it on the inside. Don't miss it on that barren well on the inside. What happens if you miss it on the inside? It slips. Your barrens spin too quick and they break down too and fast. Next like, thing you, that's what motor bikinis do. Spin too quick, they break down. And then you put some in this part so that when you put in the cylinder, it's locked in place. I know some people talk about drilling holes and doing dowel pins and all sorts of guides. This is all you need right here, I'm telling you. Next part right here is gonna be the crank. You see, this is a, this is a used one too. We like to get the used ones because they got good play in them. You don't want it to sit too still. You want a good, fast crank, so it's gotta have a little bit of play in it. Just sit this in here right there. I'm gonna take us one of these here bearings. You can take, for example, from the, the last one we took out, of how they go. This one right here, it's the same side. So we take this bearing right here. And you want to put the seal in here first. With your, with your spring facing on the inside. Does it matter the which way the damn seal goes? Personally, I like to do them out. And I just spin it on in there. And I give it a good push. Some people like to heat the bearings and they put the crank in the freezer. Heat, not eat, heat, you hungry heat, asses. All y'all hungry motherfuckers out there in moped land. That's too much work. Heat, don't eat. You take grade A transmission fluid. You hold it in your hand, you get that thing good and good and moist. Oh man, that's some good training fluid. Good and moist. You put it right on top of there. You see, it doesn't really want to go, so you gotta put a little bit more. So you're going down here, you get yourself the big hammer. Not the little hammer. You get yourself the big hammer and get yourself a little driver, some kind of punch of some sort. And you make sure you dip this thing back in all the extra oil you got, tranny. You put it on top, and you put your punch on there, and you just hit it. Ah! It's going. Might take a little work. Look at that son bitch. Tell me if that ain't on there. Oh, that's on there. I'm gonna give it one more wax to make sure it's good to go. Woo! Look at that. That's good to go, boy. It's quick. These boys on the internet, they tell you all these things about putting it in the freezer, heating it with torches. It's a waste of time. Look how fast that was. Next up, look back to your sample from the other one. This next one goes barren on the inside, seal on the outside. All right. And now we're done with this, we don't need that anymore. We'll toss it over there, get rid of that. Now we're at the second barren. I like to use some of this lip leftover oil that I got on the table still, but it's not enough. So I put a little bit right on top of there. And like same thing I said, you, just, you don't need a heat, you don't need none of that extra work. You just get you the big hammer and hit that stuff. Shaking, there. you're shaking up my liquor, man. That's okay. Shake it up. That'll just taste better later. Soak up the rest of that juice from that seal. Smack that on top. And that's a crank the fast way. And now, if you see from the heat we had left over, all that residue from the sealant we put on, it's been melting and oozing and spreading out. So it's good and ready to go. Now we take that crank we got. We sit it on in here. Make sure I got the right way. Turn it around. We sit it on in here. Mm, good snug. Have you ever done this set it with a hammer trick? I used to take mine and set it with a hammer real good to make sure the damn. I take the soft hammer. Yeah, yeah, not, not a hard, hard one, not a hard one. Not the heavy one, but the soft one. Perfect. It's in there. Not going, not going to move a budge. And you take what we had from last time. This thing was still good to go. Um, the seal, see how the sealant has the little ridges on it and a little bit of this stretchiness still? That's that's perfect. That's grip. We put a little extra on there just to make sure that, it's, that nothing wrong is going to happen with it. You might want to put a little on the main gear too. It helps keep the noise down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like you said, I put it on this inside bearing. 
in the in, in the juice because yeah. that's on the inside. Yeah, it don't but matter it on the inside. The the but it'll, it'll keep it from getting too noisy, yeah. so, so you can listen to your right. tunes. You push that in here like this, mm -hmm. and we give it the old soft hammer. Ah! On the seal too. Nothing's gonna go. Now, you guys, something might be a little messy. Get you a rag. This one's got some metal bits in it from cleaning up, but that's fine. You take that other half of the case right there we got. Bring it together. Hey, let's flip to the light side. Let's bring it over here to the light. You see when you push this thing together, how you get all this squish? That's what we call that's what we call squish in mopeds. You take that squish, you smear it right around the outside, real wide, real wide. That's how you get a good seal on these No, lights. no air leaks. You don't want to see any cracks, any crevices. And I bring it around here, and I do the same thing around the seal, around all these openings. I smear it. Say it with me now. Look me in the face. Smear it. Smear it. But you Come didn't on. look at ba you didn't look me in the eye when you did that. Come on, boy. Smear it. Smear it. Smear it. And give it a nice spread. Real wide. All the way around here. And this is a little pro tip. You want to go fast with no air leaks. You don't want to see none of them openings. Remember, Team Rando taught you first. Team Rando Bills, number one on the internet. You got everything smeared nice and good. Everything spread, not one leak on this bike. And what we typically like to do here is we let it sit for about 24 hours. 24 hours from now, this motor should be glued solid. Glued solid and tight. And then we're gonna come back with the nuts and bolts in there. And then we're gonna go on to the topic. For now, you gotta let it set up. Don't forget the setup time. That's the most important part. Team Rando Bills, I'm gonna take you guys all the way. That thing's got a little wear, but that thing also has a lot of life left in it. A lot of life, a lot of love. This thing will carry you at least another 250 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I ain't showered in like a week. <laughs>